Uh, hi. Uh, my name is Dan. I'm 11 years old, and I like doing magic and circus, spells, circus skills, especially unicycling. I'm here today to testify against House Bill 170, 183, and 337. I really like to play sports with my friends, although, honestly, I'm not very good at it. I really like the chance to play. It makes me feel good when I play with my friends. People keep talking about how it's unfair, but we're talking about kids, kids my age and under. This bill wouldn't, hurt, wouldn't help people, it would hurt them. Adults are always telling us that it's not about winning, it's about having fun. And how fun would it be if you couldn't play sports? How fun would it be if your teammates couldn't play with you? How fun would it be if your friends couldn't play sports with you? And how fun would it be if you couldn't play sports with your friends? All because your government thought an eight-year-old was going to take your kid's trophy and therefore should not be allowed to play sports. It just honestly seems like you guys have more important things to worry about than 11-year-old playing sports with their friends. It shouldn't be the government's job to tell people who can play in sports teams. It should not be the government's job to tell kids they're not allowed to play sports. It should definitely not be the government's job to make laws out of fear. It's the government's job to protect its citizens, it's the government's job to treat everyone fairly, and it's the government's job to make their laws reflect that. Please vote no on House Bill 170, 183, and 337. Thank you for your time. I hope you have a nice evening. Questions for these witnesses. Representative Weber. Thank you, Proceed. Um, thank you so much. I believe that you came and testified last session as well. Uh, Dan, I believe that you showed us some magic tricks too that were pretty pretty cool. Uh, to you parents, um, you know, yes, we should be we should be having conversations about controversial issues. Uh, but at the same time, does this feel like PTSD every time you come back? It does. Um, my husband can tell you that it was a very painful evening last night getting the notification, having to readjust our whole schedule when this was not what we had planned to do at all today, and preparing ourselves for what we knew was going to be a really hard day, though, like I said, harder than any of the other times that we've come into this building. Yeah, 100%. And I, I have to give all of you props because you've had to sit through some some horrific testimonies here. Um, and some of the bill sponsors, they're not even here. So you all have sat here and listened to everything, and the bill sponsors who should be in here are not. So thank you for that. Um, thank you for testifying again. Representative Quaid. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I just wanted to quickly thank you all again for being here um, and apologize that you weren't notified until about 25 hours before the hearing. Um, I, I would like to say that's not standard operating procedure in this building, but depending on the topic, um, I can't say that. Um, and I really just wanted to, again, thank you, Dan, for being here. It has been a pleasure to watch you grow up. I am sorry that I've had to and that our relationship has been around this, but I just want to say that you are so brave, and every time that you come here, you say the funniest, wittiest things, <laughs> and it is a breath of fresh air, and I just want to continue to thank you for showing up and being here. You are so brave, and, and we just are so grateful for you. Additional questions? Seeing none, thank you for your testimony. Thank you. Next in support, please step forward. Hello, my name is Teresa Collins. I'm coming to talk in support of this bill before my battery dies. <laughs> okay, and I completely agree with that family, and it's really government overreach that we're even discussing all these things today. Um, I do support, though, the women's support bill. Um, science, there is some science to the biological male and female that we just have to agree. Agree. I guess we don't have to agree on anything because we're not. But, um, you know, as far as lung capacity, heart capacity, just bone density, things is along this line that I would think would give them that edge, which is where that Title IX thing came in to play, which has worked out to this point. And I don't feel like we're trying to hate on anybody or not give them a place. I really want think that they should have a place. Right now, like you said, there's very few kids that are playing sports that this even applies to in Misha. So, I mean, there are still intramural sports, I think, that everybody can still participate in, as far as I'm 
as far as I remember. So I'm feeling like, yeah, so we, we're not trying to take anybody from playing with their kids, their friends. I think that's a wonderful thing. Sports are great and good for development and socialization. So, yeah, that's an option. Um, and now we have, like, coaches. I mean, maybe I don't even need to go there. But, you know, you've got college coaches that really need to start to recruit um, people that, you know, fall into that not-so-neat box um, so that they can have athletes on their teams that can compete at that level, and I just feel that's even makes it harder when you get to places like uh, college or Olympics, which we were talking about. But this has nothing to do with that. We're just talking about kids, you know, under eighteen. <laughs> so, okay. Um, any questions? I guess I could go on, but I don't want to take anybody's time. Any questions from the committee, Representative Vani? Just briefly, um, so you said that you agree that this is government overreach, that we're even having this conversation, but then in the same breath, you said you support this legislation, correct? Yeah, it's okay, crazy, because I was thinking the same thing, like with parent rights, it's like, who took my rights away? <laughs> you know, I was like, why am I here for this? But yeah, it's very sad. Yeah, is that it? Okay. Additional questions, seeing none, next 